Close your eyes and take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Watch the breath to see how it feels. If it feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. Try to stay with the breath as continuously as you can. Because when the mind can settle down like this, it starts seeing things more clearly. And particularly, you see what's going on in your own mind. Some people wonder how, it, how you can gain wisdom or how you can gain insight as you're just sitting here watching your breath. You're not reading anything, you're not thinking about much anything, but you are observing, and that's the important principle in insight. I mean, you can read about all kinds of things. You can read books and books and books and still be a fool. But if you look at your own actions and say, oh, I did this and it caused this harm, I better stop. That's the beginning of wisdom. In other words, sometimes you see that you have been a fool. You're not seeing that you are a fool. You have been a fool, but you don't have to be. You can change your ways. You can change the way you speak. You can change the way you act. You can change the way you think. Sometimes we hear about Buddha's wisdom being very esoteric and very abstract, but when the Buddha talked about wisdom, it was all very practical stuff. He said, wisdom begins with the question, what when I do it will lead to my long-term welfare and happiness? What when I do it will lead to long-term harm and suffering? The wisdom there comes from the fact that you realize that happiness and suffering come from your actions and that long-term happiness is better than short-term. It sounds pretty basic, and it is basic, but most of us overlook the basics. If everyone lived according to this basic principle, there wouldn't be any turmoil in the world. We'd all be looking for long-term good, long-term happiness. And the sort of things we do to get short-term happiness that end up causing harm, nobody would be doing them at all. So, But you can't go around straightening out the world unless you straighten out yourself first. So this is where you look. And if you want to see clearly is what the Buddha said, if you kill, you steal, and you have illicit sex, if you lie, if you take alcohol and other drugs, is that really unskillful? Speaking in a divisive way, speaking in harsh ways, just spending your time in idle chatter, is that unskillful? You give it a try, and you've given it a try for a lot of some of these things for quite a bit. You can be, now you can say, well, let's try the things that he says are skillful, abstaining from these things, developing a right view that our actions really do make a difference. What happens if you act on that view, that everything you do and say and think you want to be really careful about? There's that cartoon where Lucy complains, if you go around watching everything you say, you never get much said. Well, we'd all be a lot better off if people would watch what they said and didn't have to feel like they had to fill up the air with all their chatter. So you want to get the mind still so you can watch. Okay, when you do this, where is it coming from? What's the intention behind it? And when you do it, where does it go? What kind of results does it lead to? If you catch that you're acting on greed, aversion, and delusion, you can stop. Say, I don't want to work on that. because. Know it's going to lead to harm down the line. And this way, by getting the mind really, really still, you have a sense of well-being, so you're not going for the quick fix. And at the same time, you really begin to see the results of your actions without siding with yourself all the time. You learn how to admit, oh, that really was unskillful. I better not do that again. That's the beginning of wisdom right there. That and the ability to know how to talk yourself into doing what's skillful even when you don't feel like it, or to talk yourself out of doing unskillful things when you really want to do them. That's a lot of wisdom right there. So it's two very basic things, looking for long-term happiness and learning how to talk yourself into doing the right thing and out of talking doing the wrong thing. And as for the higher levels of wisdom, they all come from here. Don't lose touch with the basics, because the basics are what keep everything else in line.